with your CIG television news brief on this Wednesday. As part of the ongoing project to widen and extend the Linford Pearson Highway, the National Roads Authority has started widening of the existing westbound section from the Alamo round, Roundabout near downtown Reach Apartments to Agnes Roundabout. Now, this widening will create a third westbound lane, which will provide additional capacity for traffic heading towards Georgetown and provide much needed relief from congestion, particularly in the morning peak hours. Now, the works on this section will commence or start in early July this month and be completed by the end of August. Motorists are asked to proceed with caution when approaching the work zone and pay attention to work crews and road signs. Now, if you have an, any urgent questions or concerns for NRA officials, you can send them an email to nra at nra.ky or you can call them at 516-1251. Uh, well, 22 red pole cattle are imported under the Livestock Development Program, strengthening the Cayman Islands domestic livestock capacity. Now, the Ministry of Planning, Agriculture, Housing and Infrastructure has taken the major step by bringing the cattle from Jamaica. The three bulls and 19 heifers uh, were airlifted to Grand Cayman in late June and after completing quarantine will form the base herd for the local cattle breeding program managed by the Department of Agriculture. We have prioritized agriculture and food security during the past two years because improving the well-being of Caymanians means ensuring that safe, nutritious food is accessible, available and affordable, said the Honorable J.E. Banks, Minister of Planning, Agriculture, Housing and Infrastructure. Importing the cattle will substantially increase domestic cattle production, improve overall cattle genetics and reduce the need to import beef in the future as well. Brian Critchell, the acting director of the department, says, quote, importing purebred cattle suited to local conditions is a more sustainable approach to improving domestic livestock and an important component of efforts to enhance local genetics, upgrade domestic herds, and support important research, end quote. All right, it's that time of year when parents can register their children for the annual summer reading challenge. The start date was July 1st, and the theme of the annual public library service challenge uh, is world cultures. Now the challenge is open to all children between the ages of 6 and 17 and they may sign up online or at any branch library between the 1st of July and the 26th of August. To get registered online you can email library programs at gov.ky, request a registration form and submit the completed form to the same address. If you would like more information about the 2023 Summer Reading Challenge you can call the Georgetown Public Library on 949-51. Well, tonight we should see partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers and possible thunder. And boaters can expect slight seas with moderate wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. From Thursday afternoon, weatherwise, we will see a decrease in cloudiness and shower activity. And well, if you check out the Cayman Islands Weather Services website and Facebook page, you will get the latest on what is happening weatherwise locally. And this brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful night.